Good afternoon, guys. Uh, today is called the kick, cancer, kick Cancer's Butt Day. Now, what that means is I'm doing this challenge called uh, Great Cycle Challenge. And so every dollar that's donated today uh, is matched up to like a million or 1.2 million or something like that um, from different donors, uh, you know, uh, companies and stuff. So I am I, I'm doing this doing this writing to try and raise money for research to fund to fund kids cancer research, and uh, I, I got to tell you about what happened today. Okay, so I, I saw on the on the weather that it was going to be a cold day. The newspapers had a bunch of stuff on it. Okay, all right, so it's going to be a cold day. I think this is the perfect time to bike to the Texas state border because if you know that. It's long, it's, I mean, hot, it's just terrible. So I think, okay, I'll do this today because, so I, I'm, I'm planning this for like a week and a half. I'm like, this is, this is the perfect time to do this. Um, and it'll give people incentive uh, to donate more for, for kids' cancer research. So, you know, hey, I, 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 everybody wins. This is like 80 miles and uh, so, so I get everything ready. We get the we get the chalk for the for the van. We, we write it on the window so people know to move over and stuff. And Gracie drives behind me. We make sure we have all of our bases covered. <laughs> well, then, then we wake up today, and it's so much colder than I thought it was gonna be. And I think, okay, no, that doesn't matter. And then it's so much wetter than I thought it was gonna be. And I think, okay, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. We can get through this. So I go through this like, you know, where you see something, it seems like an insurmountable goal, like just it's it's too big. And so you think, I just won't do it today, right? But I keep thinking about these kids and I'm like, okay, if, if they can go through, you know, chemo and all this stuff, I, I can get out there on the bike. And I, and I, and I urge myself on, I'm like, I can do this. So I go out there. Um, it's like, seven. I, I, I was supposed to leave at six, but it was too wet and too dark, and I was afraid I was going to get hit by a car. So I waited until like seven, seven thirty, something like that. So I get going. Things, things start out, and I'm like, okay, this isn't going to be so bad, but it quickly deteriorates. Within like five miles, my feet, my shoes are filled with water. And I mean, they're just filled with water. So I, I'm pedaling and I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep like this positive attitude about it. I'm like, hey, you know, I, this is momentary, but those kids that have cancer, that's that's not momentary. So I, I, you know, I'm doing it for the kids. So I keep I keep pedaling and it just starts getting terrible. My I, I've got this giant jacket on and stuff, and it's getting drenched. My clothes are all drenched, and then as I'm pedaling, the water the the tire the bike tires is, is flinging the water up. And it's getting into my shoes. So my socks are drenched. My clothes are drenched. My shoes are filled with water. And I keep pedaling. It's like... <laughs> and I'm like, okay, it, it, it's okay. And, you know, I, I just got to keep going. So I get out all the way out to Ben Archer. And I call Grace. And I'm like, so... Um, and don't, I don't mean to rush you here, but... Any idea how long before you, you know, you're going to be behind me? She's like, oh, yeah, I'm right down the corner. I'm like, oh, thank God. So I keep, I keep going, waiting for her. And when she finally catches up, I, I change my socks, and you know, I, I, because it just got too, it just got too cold, too wet. So I, I dry off my socks and dry off my feet, change my socks. But then we have the problem that my shoes are still wet. So Gracie takes the foam insert and she's stringing it out, and you're just seeing like this cascade of water from it. And uh, so we're like, okay, well, things will be better now. So you get get back on the on the bike. I go within another five miles. My shoes are drenched again. My feet are cold. I I'm cold. Everything's just not going well. So I think, okay, all right. So we get out, and it I, I'm I'm at this point. I've gone thirty, uh, thirty two. No, it's about thirty miles. And I'm thinking. Am I there yet? This is the worst thing. This is just, I just don't feel into this. I'm, I'm not into it. You know, at this point, you know, I'm having regrets about, you know, trying to do this. And I'm like, I, I can't do this. This is too hard for me. It's too big of a goal. And, you know, so I start having this like pity party and, and I'm, I'm tired and stuff. So I, I pull over, I get into the van, and I just, I eat some lunch. It's only like 10 o'clock, but I'm still eating because I'm, I'm, I'm cold, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm thinking maybe, maybe I'll feel better after I eat. So, okay, 
I, I, I eat my sandwich. I'm like, okay, now, now things are going to be okay. And I, I, I muster up the courage with me. And I think, okay, I've made it. I've made it over 30 miles. I can do this. So I get going and right off, right, right off the bat, you know, I've, 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 I've resolved my will to go and, and do the 80 miles and I get back on my bike and I start going and I get a flat, like instantly. I'm like, no. And we plan for every single thing except getting a flat. I didn't bring a pump. I didn't bring a spare inner tube, inner tube. I didn't bring a spare uh, tire. I didn't, nothing. I didn't bring any of that stuff. So it's at this moment that I realize I'm sunk because we don't have enough time to drive back home, fix the tire and go back. I, I've made it too far at this point. I'm like almost halfway to Texas and it's just, so I, I'm instantly just super disappointed because I worked up this, this firm resolve to go in the blister, endure the blistering cold and the, and the rain and, and, and the floods and I'm, nothing will stop me. And it's at this point that I realized I, I'm not going to make it. It, it. it was super discouraging and I felt like a failure. I really, really did. To make matters worse, I, I think that I'm starting to get like some kind of a cold or something. I mean, my, my face burns. I've got all kinds of sinus stuff going on. I don't know. So I, I'm, I'm all kinds of discouraged. And then I started thinking about it on our long drive home, you know, the walk of shame all the way back home. And I started thinking about it and I realized that I really haven't failed. Yes, I didn't make it to the Texas border. I, I didn't do that. that. That's true. But I didn't really fail because I stuck with it until I couldn't. I went out even though it was raining and even in the cold. And this is my message to you. Sometimes you're going to feel like a failure. Sometimes you're going to feel like, you know... Every, you just you just messed up. But here's the thing. The reason why I'm convinced that I'm not a failure for what I did today, even though I didn't make it to the Texas border, is because I didn't give up. I kept going. And even though it was hard, it was cold, it was wet, everything seemed to go against me. I still tried. And I did my best all the way until I couldn't do anymore. And, you know, maybe you feel like a failure. I don't know. Maybe you don't. But let this be just a little encouragement for you trying doesn't make you a failure. Refusing to even try makes you a failure. Even if you, even if you attempt something and you don't make it and, and you mess up, you tried. That, that's, that's a victory. That's a success. And uh, so I, I don't know. I, I'm still a little bit disappointed, but I don't feel like it's the end of the world anymore. So I... You know, the, 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 the month, we still have a lot, a lot more days in the month. Um, even if I do get sick, I'll bike in the, with a cold. It's just something that's going to happen. But I will make that quota of 550 miles or die trying. And so what I'm asking for is that if you are able at all, if you could just donate $5.00, just $5. It'll be matched, and your $5 will become $10. And uh, we have already met my goal. My goal was for to raise $500 from you guys, and that I was going to contribute $500 so that we were in this thing together. So we've already surpassed $1,000. We've already met my goal, but here's the thing. My goal is just for me. I mean, the cancer still has to get funded. I mean, the research, cancer research. Sorry, really misleading. The cancer research still has to get funded. So, I mean, if you give over my goal, that's totally fine. I mean, you're still helping kids. Um, so it was kind of confusing. Some people thought that we weren't trying to get any more money for cancer research anymore. Um, so I, I raised the goal on it again so there wouldn't be any confusion, confusion anymore. Um, the thing about kids' cancer is it requires different research than adult cancer does. Um, it doesn't respond to the body the same way, and it doesn't really respond to treatment. Uh, currently, 38 kids in the U.S. die every single week from cancer. It's the number one killer disease killer of, of kids. Um, it, that just blows me away. 
you know, sometimes we think, oh, we're, you know, technologically advanced, it's all, you know, these kinds of things, but, and here's the thing, when, when you fund U.S. research, you are, in fact, funding, you know, research for cancer in other countries, too, because it'll, it'll trickle down, you know, as, as things become more successful, cheaper, that kind of stuff, it, it will trickle down. Um, but, you know, that just, if there's any way that you can give anything, um, just give what you can. Um, I, today I, I gave what I could, you know, I, I tried, I made it 34.3 miles. I tried, I, I really did. And you know, if I didn't have other things to do today, work and that kind of stuff, I would get back on my bike, fix my tire and go again. And I would try again. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't, uh, but what I can do is I'm just going to play a few songs. So that's kind of a little bit of a reconciliation, I guess. Eh, maybe a little bit of a, um, you know, like when, 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 you, when you play but you lose and they still give you a trophy anyways. <laughs> this, is my, this is my trophy for losing. <laughs> you again today um, is is kick cancer's butt day which means that everything you donate will be doubled if you give it today anytime today between obviously you know 12 to 11:59 anything in that window today will be doubled Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So for every five dollars donated, we actually have a goodie basket. There's there's three different goodie baskets. One's a coffee basket. One's a tea basket. One's just got um, baked goods. And if you have any uh, allergies or anything like that, we can always work around that. Um, and how it'll work is so if you give uh, five, especially if you give it today, it'll be don't it'll be doubled. So if you give five, it'll it'll be you're giving ten actually. Um, because so, remember that, that, that donation is going to kick in up to $1.2 million. So, um, if you can give anything, please do. And so, uh, when we do the raffle drawing on the 30th of September, 31st, 30th, 30th of September, um, whoever we draw first will get to pick, um, you know, obviously which one they want, uh, first. And with the tea and the coffee, you get to pick, um, I believe one or two. To, it, it's posted on the raffle page, on the event page, um, baked goods for Gracie to make uh, for you. So, um, really great. <laughs> um, obviously, my name will not be entered into the drawing. Um, but I do expect Gracie to make me something. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so, uh, you know, there is, there is definitely incentive. You know, if you give um, today, there's just a lot of great things. First off, your your donation is matched. Second off, you're entered into a raffle. Third off, you're helping kids. I mean, th that's great, right? I think so, at least. Um, so if there's any way that you can give, uh, that you would give something, that would be very, very helpful. Um, I, I I know that the, the that uh, that the kids would appreciate, you know, and and yeah. There's some there's some kids um, that are actually you know I'm kind of keeping up on that there's not a treatment for what they have and you know that's that's a tough that's a tough thing you know it's hard to see kids suffer um, yeah, especially you know I I kind of feel guilty because you know a couple years ago I almost died I was I had to go to the hospital and all this stuff and, and it it didn't look too good for me but then. Um, for whatever reason, you know, um, God saved me, he healed me, and around that same time, there was uh, another guy that was a very um, good person. I don't know how else to say it. He was a, a nice person, and, and he died while I, you know, was healed, and that's just, it's a hard thing to have to learn to to live with and you have to say okay god you 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 know what's best and just kind of let go of it and you know you see these kids who's there, there's something we can do here to help them um you know i don't know if you've ever had to bury a child it's, it's a very difficult thing to do and uh i just can't help but think you know if there's anything that i can do to prevent that from having to happen then I'm, I'm gonna do it, you know. And and, and biking for for me, it's fun and everything. But 550 miles, that's that's a lot for for me. Um, there there's actually a group of pastors right now at this very moment who are biking 500 miles in five days, and I'm just like, wow, <laughs> that I I don't I'm I'm not there yet. I mean I I've been practicing a lot, and I'm all I'm only up to like. Uh, my best is 57 miles in one day. And so they're doing a, a 100 miles <laughs> five days in a row. And it's just like, wow, that blows my mind. Um, but for me, this is a, this is a, big, um, a big goal, a big step. And I'm kind of, um, <laughs> kind of scared I'm not going to make it, but I'm going to do my best. And uh, so anyways, uh, I didn't have any more songs prepared. But I feel like I should. Well, anyways, I'm not going to waste your time looking around for songs. Um, uh, if there's any any way you can give, please do. Um, if there's something that that I can do to encourage you to donate, let me know. You know, if you want me to, uh, 
I don't know, uh, tell jokes, I'll do that. If you want me to play some songs, I'll do that. If you want me to play some more classical songs, I'll do that. Um, whatever to get you to donate, that's, that's what I'll do. Um, I've already shaved my head, which obviously wasn't that, um, that big of a deal because I'm bald. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it, it, it was a very emotional thing. You don't think that people who have cancer, like, it's that big of a deal for them to lose their hair. Like, who cares? It's just hair. But then when you lose your hair, it's like, oh, man, it just, it feels weird. It, you feel kind of exposed. It just, ugh. Um, the reason why I did it uh, was because they're um, one of the little boys that uh, that is... That I'm writing for, his name's Daxon. Uh, he he had to he lost his hair again uh, just a couple weeks ago uh, because of treatment. Um, so I shaved my head to obviously to show support in that. And you know, it's a, you. There's some things in life that you don't realize how lucky you are because it doesn't happen to you. So it's like out of sight, out of mind. But you know, I I cannot imagine the stress of having having a child with cancer, just how much that, that must take out of people. Um, financially, emotionally, uh, obviously the spiritual struggles that go on from that. You know, it's it's one thing to talk about, you know, okay, God is good, God is good, but, but when you're in a situation like that, to keep saying, yes, God is still good, even though something, you know, unfair or, you know, terrible is happening, well, anyways, um, so if there's any way I can I can get you guys to to donate, you let me know. Um, I will I will do most anything. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously, I biked in the yeah, freezing cold and, and rain. Um, so there's pretty much anything. If there's any way I can get you to to donate, I can earn the money. And then I will do it. Just let me know. Um, okay, you guys have a good rest of the day. See ya.